Turn me up, Kingdomonians. Turn me up, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to another live with Mimi. Thank y'all so much for joining. As y'all can tell, it's a packed house in here, right? It's a very much so packed house in here. It's 109 of y'all in here. Did y'all remember to throw the thumbs up for me? Y'all, throw the thumbs up for me on y'all way over here, honey. Hey, Nicole Johnson. Hey, Lenora. Hey, Renee, dancing with nature. To all my beautiful mods and members, thank y'all so much for joining the live. I appreciate it so much. And to all of my kingdomonians in the building, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, y'all, happy, what's today, church? Happy Thursday, y'all. Y'all see the kingdom already packed? The kingdom is already down packed. Y'all, there has been a lot going on. We're going to get off into it. What did Mita Mita say? Hey, thank you, Mita Mita. I appreciate it, girl. Hey, Bria. Hey, Vibe Nature. MCW and A. Hey, Chandra. Everyone joining the live. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Um, so y'all, um, yeah, did y'all have a good Valentine's Day yesterday? Y'all had a good Valentine's, Galentine's, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to bug y'all yesterday because I knew that y'all was probably a uh, quote unquote what uh what uh Peyton say. I figured that y'all was probably getting swallowed. Sure. So I said, I ain't gonna bug y'all. Hey, Fatima. Hey, Mo. I said, I ain't gonna bug. I ain't gonna bug the Kingdomonians, baby. Hey, woman of wealth. Hey, Tay. Tay, move to the front, niece. Go on, move to the front. Mm -mm. Get on up there in the front, good. Thank you so much, 7K. I appreciate that. Y'all, 7K said, please like the live. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. MCW and A said, did Wolf have a good Valentine? Huh? I assume so. Baby, the, the trick bill was a probably big. Do you hear me? The money that had been spent on him, the dollar was probably girl, but none of my business, right? Right? Huh? He probably had a fantabulous Valentine's Day, baby. We don't know how many Valentines that man had over there, right? Sean Thompson said, Peyton getting swatted. Yes, indeed. We love that for her, right? We love that for her. Hola, Nikki B. <laughs> Good. Angel said, y'all like the live, but we're going to start keep, uh, kicking people out. We're going to start keeping y'all out of here. Good. Angel said, she got the Tito's. You hear me? <laughs> oh, they said sugar mama bitch. Now y'all Girl, I seen that she That Gina's over there in Tokyo Girl, I said Gina, don't get over there, girl uh, Knock it down, them people damn Building, they, I, good, they gonna be having PTS damn D over there, good Remember a damn King Kong I don't get over there and do that. Do you hear me? Harlem said, give them, give them the boots. Girl, we just got finished. Speaking of Peyton's, man, we just got finished talking about Peyton. Girl, speaking of Peyton's, man, baby, Harlem said, give them the boot. Hey, Sonia. Uh, LaQuisha said she tired of oxtail. LaQuisha, we also got some damn tuna fish packets. And I, I could... Uh, which one of y'all I could send to the store to get a damn Popeye's four piece? Y'all all could just share. Just take a little piece off one of the pieces of chickens and pass the damn box around. Sean. So, y'all, y'all remember to like the live for me on y'all way in here. It's 207 of y'all in the building. Y'all, I seen something interesting on Instagram that I want to show y'all, right? I seen something that I want to show y'all. I thought it was real funny. So we just go, um, hey, newborn girl. We just go, uh, let me see how to do this good because I don't want y'all to be in my business like that. Baby Angel says she'll go to Didi's and grab some snacks. Thank you. Y'all, did y'all pass the collection plate around? So uh, Angel can go get us some expired snacks from Didi's. Sure. Yeah, let's check this out while uh, Angel going right over there to do these. Don't you throw that up here. 
you raggedy bitch, you better be more careful who you pick up in grocery stores next time. Troy. Don't you throw that up. Do you hear me? Girl. Y'all, I thought that was so funny to me. I said, ah, ah, baby, y'all know good. We had to get the, the throwing some oranges in here one time. Good. Their BBBs had got loose, baby. They had all got together and met. It was about Trium. It was Trium over that got together, baby. It had got through the kingdom, the kingdom gates, baby. It was over here, baby, trying to throw some deuces, baby. We had to release them on. Uh, Angel, they said, niece, if you could go over there to Ross, see if they got some expired snacks, too. So, y'all, on today's agenda, um, wait a minute. How y'all was going to let me forget? Baby, y'all know we need to run the commercials. What's wrong with y'all? Huh? No, y'all didn't have me forget. Pack, backpack, 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 ankle swole, I'm out of control, I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, 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 backpack. Knee is swollen, my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. Gina, put 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 this foot first. Yeah. Gina, put 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 this foot first. Yeah. yeah. You at least gotta pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> Here, now grab a pose. Grab a pose. Yeah. Now pull your leg up to the next step. Baby, y'all, we got one more. Let me find it. Is it over here on this profile? Yeah, here we go. Turn, turn, turn. Whoo, y'all, y'all, if I'm talking about any one of y'all fave content creators and y'all in y'all feelings, baby, Wolf said, turn, turn. Turn, get out, go, just uh, go, come back when we done. Now, what I have noticed is everybody be over here for the win out of Gina Janine. But then when we get to tiptoeing into some of y'all faves, then it's a problem. I say, oh, <laughs> the girls are fighting. Baby, we could uh, talk about Gina and that wig and all every day, all day. Y'all be over here kiki and ha ha. But the minute we say something about one of y'all aesthetically pleasing faves, Charlie be a little issue. I said, Char, talk about bias, baby. Harlem is lit. Harlem, you're not even supposed to be in here then, right? Or you could be in here. Good. Let me know. Baby J. Vicker said, right. They feelings be hurt. Good. Yeah. I said, Char. Somebody always texts me when I get you. So, y'all. Harlem says she's not finna mess with us. Okay. Okay, Harlem. Just uh baby, watch the can you do you mind to man the chat? Can you make sure ain't nobody over here being extra cute? I greatly appreciate it. Hey Nakia. Southern Bell said we don't care. Southern Bell want us to know that we don't care. We're talking about everybody up, period. And y'all, this is the thing. Our conversations over here in the kingdom, baby, some of the girls get to shake it in their boots with, with what are they sub, send them a little clip of me, of, of my live talking to them. They get so nervous. Like, all the conversations don't be bad conversations. Like, I'm just over here talking about what I see. It's not going to always give drag or it's not going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, la. That's all you got to do. Just relax. I'm just over here talking. Y'all ain't got to be all on defense mode and shaking in your boots. <laughs> hey, Lady T-Bug. Baby homes are shaking in their boots. So, y'all, y'all know what I noticed and what I think we need to talk about. I'll go ahead and tell y'all what we're going to talk about today. We have to go back and talk about Chelsea because we did not talk about the um, the vision board. I think we skipped right over there. Thank you so much, Life with Sheridan. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, girl. Uh, we're going to go back over there with Chelsea. Y'all, I watched Chelsea's vision board vlog. I absolutely loved it. Her outfit, tens across the board. I just loved it. And um, there's like a little piece that we're going to talk about over there. Um, then y'all y'all know Platt uploaded a vlog me. So we're going to head on over there to um, Platt. I'm, I'm loving Platt these days, y'all. 
So good. We're going to go over there and see what Platt got going on. And then we're going to wrap it up with Gina Janine over there cosplaying uh, Kyra's life, right? Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So if everybody is ready, um, Char, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Did I stop sharing my screen? Uh, we're going to go to Chelsea first. I already have Chelsea queued up. Let me throw up my little... Um, Oh, let me pause it real quick. Let me pause. Y'all, Chelsea's, baby, Chelsea, did she do her own hair? Hair is cute. Chelsea, can you do my hair, niece? Chelsea, you could do mine too? Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and share the screen. Y'all remember to like the live on your way in here. Mimi will greatly appreciate it. Let me take down the, uh, the crowd of everybody off over in here, right? Y'all. I forgot to tell y'all, welcome to all my new kingdomonians. Welcome to the kingdom. I hope you love it here, baby. I see that we are inching, inching, inching our way up. Thank y'all so much. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. To all my returning kingdomonians, to all my returning subs, thanks for the love. And replay gang, run it up, do your thing. So y'all, let's go ahead and get off into what we need to talk about, who, which is Chelsea. I'm not in the comments right now, so mods, do your big one, please. Thank you. By the way, it's the next day. I'm getting ready to go get some, like a quick brunch lunch um, with Damon and Kier. But <laughs> I hope that nothing went as planned. No, nothing went as planned at all. Like, at all. But I just hope that to everyone that was there, y'all didn't feel that. Because, <laughs> um, I mean, I, I just hope everybody enjoyed their time. Um, everybody had a good time. I hope that everybody met someone new. That was my biggest thing. I kept asking people, like, did you meet somebody? Did you meet somebody? Because that's what I want to network with people, talk to people. This is, I want to create a safe space where you feel comfortable. If you sit next to somebody, you see they have a I camera. I love y'all too. <laughs> or they're vlogging. I love y'all too, Unique. Thank you so much. I love y'all too. Or they're doing whatever. I want you to be comfortable enough to be like, girl, what camera is that? Like, can you show me your settings? And I didn't want this to be like a YouTube event, but I'm a vlogger. You guys knew about this event because you watch me. So right. a, it was a lot of people do it. You know, it's a lot of content creators. Yeah, Chelsea just so cool. She's just so cool for this. She seems so humble and down to earth. And I really love this moment for her. She seemed so genuinely, it came off on camera. She seemed very genuinely like a sweet person. You could go up to talk. She just seemed so open and she was not putting on a facade. And that is so cool of her. And she seems so, so, so humble. I love seeing it. So I was okay with it. Like I, oh my God, when I first walked into that building and I seen all of y'all, which I, I literally froze. I know y'all was probably like, bitch, I <laughs> literally froze and I ran off and I went to the bathroom. I, I, had, to get, I had to get myself together because I was like, wow, like it was a lot, but I had so much fun, like. I had a great time. I had a, a really good time. And I just pray that all of you all had a great time. And until next time, it was it was great. It was it was really, really great. It was really great. It, and I just like, I want to give a shout out to the videographer, even though I haven't even. Y'all, Chelsea, Chelsea, I, I don't even have words right now, right? Um, Chelsea seemed so in the moment. It's like she didn't expect, it's like she doesn't know like her power or how big her name is, how all the weight that comes behind it, right? She didn't expect for all the people to just probably show up and show out and so, so much love to love to her. And I just appreciate that. And I, I appreciate that so much for her just really remaining humble and you know what I'm saying just, just sticking to her guns and all that like Chelsea just reached 100k like this year so she's really been grinding Chelsea has been grinding getting it out the mud she ain't been um clout chasing she she stayed in her own lane she's doing her and it's working for her y'all in my opinion there are three content creators that I can think of thus far who stay in their lane 
who um, are true to themselves and they they just making it. And it, it's it's um, Chelsea, um, Platinum D and Peyton. Like they stay in their lanes. I don't see, um, and even though people say that Chelsea does like take, and she, you know, she can like kind of be influenced by others like Kyra or Leah's face, but that's what the girl is, is supposed to do. If you're influenced, you're influenced. And then you should, you know, just give a shout out about that, right? So whoever that was that influenced you. But those three ladies have a lane and they stay in it. And the thing about those three ladies is that you know when another content creator has come in their lane or is mocking something that they got going on, you already know. You'll be like, oh, that's a plat. That's that's plat right there. She she plat. Or oh yeah, that's Peyton. She she over there, she she channeling Peyton. Or, oh, yep, that's Chelsea. You ain't never want to do your that's that's Chelsea, right? It's like Chakra said, Chelsea is so relatable and likable. I just love that for her. And I'm so glad y'all, the crowd, the girls in at the um at the vision board party, cute. Some of the absolute cutest black girlies ever. Like so cute. Carried themselves like women. It, it was just very, it was very beautiful to see. I enjoyed the moment, actually. I really did. So we love that for um Chelsea. So that's all we wanted to say, y'all. Y'all tell Chelsea Bodneys. Bye, Chelsea. We we love you good. You you coming into your own and all of that niece. And we're gonna leave you alone, right? Bye, niece. Um, Chow. Uh, do we need to do a Mercial break or do y'all want to just roll right over into Platinum D? Woman of Wealth says she was in tears. Right. It was it was very good to see. It, it, you know what? And it was emotional, like just to see the girls come and turn out for her and do all of that. Yeah. Do y'all want to y'all want the mercials or y'all want to roll right? Now? You know what? Oh, why am I asking y'all? Um, How many people do we have in here? I told y'all y'all get to act. I talked to my little baby cousin today. She said, oh, <laughs> what time you need me to come over there and read them a damn story? I said, Ooh. ah. Did I get a super? Oh my god, I missed it. Oh, thank you, Fatima. Thank you for the super, the super sticker. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and run the commercials for y'all, and then we're gonna jump into um, yeah. Platt is up next. Platt had took a little break. I was like, well, where's she at? Is she? Can she come on? So here go the commercials, y'all. <laughs> You at least gotta pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> Here, now grab the pole. Grab the pole. Yeah. Now pull Thank your you. leg up to the next step. Backpack, 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 backpack. Ankle swole, I'm out of control. I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, 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 backpack. Knee is swollen, my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. What, what, put this foot first. Yeah. yeah. Gina. First. What, what, put, put this foot first. Yeah. yeah. Now y'all know, uh, we finna go ahead and get off into Platinum D. I got my timestamps written down. So I know, um, I got some kingdom owners that don't watch Plat. Um, so I have the timestamp. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of great. I see she went over there and met with, um, I guess Charles and damn Miss Netta had a meet and greet and she went to it. The internet makes anybody fav uh, famous these days. You hear me? I said, well, they had a meeting. Huh? Baby, I said they had a meet and greet with their fans. It looked like they had went from Houston and then they had went over to, um, they had drove all the way from Houston to Dallas. So how long is that? Is that like a three and a half drive or what? Three and a half hour drive or whatever? Um, Y'all, the internet will make anybody famous these damn days. Do you hear me? I said, let me mind my damn business. Thank you, woman of wealth. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you. Okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get right off into it. Uh, if y'all hear some papers ruffling, y'all just mind your business. It's just my timestamps. I told y'all. Um, Char, now I know that we had told Platt that we didn't want her mentioning Nicole, but 
uh she she said if i gotta bring her up then i gotta bring her up and that's just what it's gonna be right so i just kind of got used to it i said okay girl yeah go off i'm not gonna tussle with you about that so um she rearranged her room and i think she was just getting rid of some stuff that um let me go back to it so we can see what's going on uh what's right here run to burlington or something I just put my same outfit back on because why am I dirty in the clothes and I'm on my knees scrubbing the walls and stuff? It, it just didn't make any sense to keep uh platt redid her room and she got rid of i think items that was i don't know if i can't remember if they was items in her bedroom that was um that belonged to nicole or maybe reminded her of nicole she just wants to change up her room and change up her change up her atmosphere you know just for her own her own peace and happiness and tranquility and all of that and I was all for whatever you got to do to make yourself happy and to keep you in, um, you know, a good a good space mentally and health wise. I'm all for it. So, um, yeah. So she mentioned Nicole's name. I don't know if Nicole left some behind or what. Child, don't y'all start me the line, cause baby, I don't know. Let me find my first timestamp, child. Is y'all still piling in here? And if so, can y'all remember to like the live? First of all, I know y'all remember when y'all bring y'all nosy asses over here. Now, I'm not talking to my Kingdomonians. I'm talking to the nosy Kingdomonians. Sean? said they about to discontinue them bowls anyway, so. Let me tell y'all something, though. Y'all, 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 here go Platt now. Platt over here putting 10 on pump two. Y'all just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let Platt be great. Why this man at Brooms come out? Can I tell you something? It's going to be unprofessional. I don't want to lose my job, but you are so beautiful. Platt. <laughs> now, Platt. <laughs> now, Platt. If you. <laughs> Platt. Now, you know, now, niece. Platt know that we have been wearing her aunt about her and all these uh, secret rendezvous and men's and stuff. Girl, Platt said, I'm going to give him another story. Now, Platt, now, Platt, you over there, girl, look like you got four arms, niece. Like, you got four arms over there. And the man's talking about Platt knees. <laughs> Jay Vickers said, I need the Carfax. Was he blind? Knees. Platt. Play, we was rooting for you. We all was rooting for you. Why would you do this? We want to know what the man looked like real quick. What, what was his race? What he looked like? Where was you at? Real quick, Platt, real quick. Huh? Now, we done, we love that, Platt. The, the kingdom of bonus love you, niece. Don't, don't, you don't got to get like that. We just want to know. Baby, uh, the phone said, what he looked like? <laughs> Hey, Cassandra. Woo, baby. Tay said, girl, I can four arms. Y'all, Tay can't be. Tay, we don't have no oxygen. That ain't even on the, uh, we're waiting to get our taxes before we can invest some more money into the damn kingdom, right? But we got you. Uh, okay, Platt, come on. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> Beauty is an auto beholder because I look like I just straight, well, I did, rolled out the bed. But thank you. Uh, Platt. <laughs> Platt. You know what? I'm finna leave Platt alone. All right, Platt girl. It's good for you. I just want y'all to know the key. Fleet. Well, Gina said that she went to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever she was at, and the men's was coming out, out from behind the damn uh uh lumber. They was coming from behind the damn uh paint cans and brooms and dust pans and tiles and, and uh kitchen um appliances and kitchen sink displays to talk to her. So okay, plan we see you, girl. The thing did not backfire in Dallas. I mean, it did, but that lady is not from Dallas. Her son clearly said they're from Milwaukee. They don't even know they were around Dallas. Don't I mean? don't play with Dallas, Lakeisha, Texas. Don't. Yeah, I just got out the shower. Let's uh, do another hair review. So there are a couple of things I want to touch. I always want to touch something because I understand that I talk. Yeah, this is something else that I want us to listen to. Um, yeah, let's go. Like really fast or what I don't know. Or you guys might be doing something else or watching me. So I like to clear stuff up. First of all, a lot of times I mention an Airbnb, an Airbnb, an Airbnb. So I don't. I don't, so 
I don't ever um, brag, but if you guys have been watching me for a long time, I realize there's a lot of new subscribers. So I'm explaining this because of this as well. You've actually seen me go to properties to get for Airbnb. So I'm not going to tell how many I got or whatever, but I will say that my current house that I own, not this one. Uh, Plaid, who over there playing on your top? Who over there playing on Plaid top? See, that's the thing. Y'all be so, they not y'all. But some of the viewers, they be so used to seeing the girls out here showing all this. They showing you what they got. They showing you that they got it. It's on them. It's not in them. So they're going to show you all their Chanel bags, their, all their, their luxury apartments, their luxury car. They're going to all of that. They, that's what they're going to do. Platt don't really show us all that because Platt said it's in her, not on her. Platt said find somebody else to play with. Pat said Aretha Franklin money. She got it. Patty LaBelle throwback money. She said, yeah, she got it. She's not one of them. Okay. My current house that I'm debating on moving to is on Airbnb. With that being said, nothing that I own is in my name. Oh, no, nothing that I own. Yeah, my LLC is out under a registered agent because I am an influencer. I am all over online and I don't need people in my business. It's just that simple. Even Country by Nikki is under a registered LLC. I mean, under a registered agent. So um, with that being said, there's a reason why I don't link my Airbnbs and stuff in the description box. I don't want them online. Um, you guys have to realize that on the internet, everybody don't like us. Everybody do not like us. Let me repeat that. Everybody do not like us. It's even some that will come in on every video. Some that are, and still don't like us. They be waiting on us to say the wrong thing or be too happy about something. And then, boom, they have all these problems with us. Uh, well, Pat, uh, niece, that, that comes with the territory, right? That comes with being a content creator. Like, you, you're in the, you're in the spotlight. You're putting your life out there for everybody. People not just going to just sit back and watch our content and with a closed mouth, with a closed uh mind frame they're not just gonna sit there and listen to go on about their business they're gonna have an opinion just like when we watch all these these tv shows these reality shows and uh soap operas tell um the novellas all of that right we have an opinion about what we are watching right so that comes with the territory right so that's just something that you have to have a thick skin for and that you have to be built for platt said over here that girl uh, the people that she has a couple of Airbnbs, however it may be good. I thought that it was very strange that I think some of the people, um, I don't know if they're her subscribers or not, but they was like trying to reach out. Like they wanted to book uh, one of her Airbnbs, which it's, it's her actual house. I think she's considering moving back into. Right. And she said that she didn't want to like, um, you know, she she don't let people know what she have or where she live because she don't want like I I don't know I just think it's weird that the subscribers were wanting to rent out her B uh her Airbnb like that's weird why y'all watch Platt like why y'all want to be all off in her business like that I think I would feel kind of weird like I don't want to um be in this woman's personal space like this like. I watch her on YouTube and that's where it's at. So I just want to leave it right there. Like, I feel like things get too personal. So um, I think Platt said that some of the, some of the subscribers was asking like, where was the house at? Cause they, they wanted the Airbnb cause they was coming into town and they wanted to, that's right. you know, so that is it. why I don't share that. And the only reason why I'm sharing this is because here lately, tons of people have been like, I'm coming to Dallas in the summer tons. So if you ask me this too, I don't ever address something unless a lot of people saying it. One person saying it, I direct address that person directly tons have been flooding my inbox and saying oh i heard something about airbnb me and my homegirls are coming in the summer me and my homegirls are coming for this me and my i do I, I, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry the one that's actually my house is booked all the way through may because it's in a great location got a pool and everything and people love uh platt said her house she said it ain't ain't a lease go she said my house yeah real real actual real big bag over here yeah real big bag at my house that has a pool over here yeah y'all y'all yeah yeah, this is not a lease to buy. This is my house, my home, I own. Um, and y'all heifers won't be coming over here getting all off into my sugar honey iced tea. I understand that. I, I can dig it. Okay. So I stopped the boots for June 1st in case I want to move. Go ahead and move over into that one. Um, but that's the main reason. That's literally my house. 
So like if I'm telling y'all to rent it out, y'all will know where I stay. You get what I'm saying? So it's just a security. It's a safety thing for me. And they make plenty, 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 plenty money. So um, it's not like I'm blocking my blessing. I mean, they stay booked, literally. So I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I understand that a lot of you guys might look at it as like you just want. Plus says she not hurting for money. Okay, Plus. Okay, girl. To support me, but I just can't. That's, that's too personal for me for somebody to know that this one might be potentially where this lady stay. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I can't. Um, so anyway, y'all met my little baby cousin. I said, slept to daddy. They um, y'all, Platt want us to know that, uh, yeah, she, 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 she really got it. She's one of those, um, one of the content creators who's, you know, what I'm saying she don't have to flaunt it in your face. I don't think Platt, I've never seen or heard of her with my own eyes of her calling, um, girl calling her subs or her plat brats broke or anything she does giveaways often she sells like uh her cosmetics or her perfume she sells the stuff at discounted prices she's forever doing something like that right um plat said don't play with me play with somebody else right um plat is one of them girls that don't don't worry about what she got just know she got it y'all don't have to damn see it just know she got it over there right Okay, Platt. Um, yeah, I can agree. I can uh yeah, I got what you're talking about. Um, I want to talk about this next thing over here, and then we're gonna care our ass. All right. So let's just jump right off into it. I wanted a little girl pair of crocs or something. So Suge did a video. The little her little girl got into it, and so the little girl was like, She needs to give me my crocs, which is cool. But the problem came is the problem came. And I was asking Suge, why you just won't get a girl your crops back? Like, you got five million pair. Um, and Suge was like, I, okay, I got to wait to Suge get back in the corner because I don't even remember. All I remember is the little girl started with Suge nonstop at school, like bullying her, her and her cousin. And so I told Suge, I said, what is the issue? And so I said, I, the little girl mama called me. And I was trying to ask Suge in front of the little girl. I'm like, broke, telling me I needed my hair done, busted, disgusted. If y'all broke and needed that bad, just keep it. I mean, she went in. And Suge was over there like, girl, you don't even know who my mama is. You tell her. So apparently back in the day um, when her daughter Suge was still in school, um, she had got into it with a little girl and the little girl wanted her Crocs back or whatever. And so um, I don't know what happened with how Platt got into it. But Platt said that the girl mama was telling Platt, that's why you broke, you need your hair done, blah, 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 blah. She didn't know who Platt was. She couldn't see the material at the time because, girl, I guess it was covered up under a bonnet and she had an oversized shirt and maybe she was missing a, a press on there. I don't know. But uh, girl, because the, the the other girl's mama owned a nail salon and all the things, so she was just telling Platt that she was broke. She needed her money up. Yeah, step your cookies up. Blah blah blah. Uh, come to find out, Platt is at the woman's um over there in the shopping center where the ladies' um nail salon used to be because now it's a Felice sign over there. So Platt said, "Bitch, find someone else to play with." Ah, you see how fast karma come back around on you? Okay, Platt. Okay, Platt. We understand you uh child so Platt was, baby she was saying just just be careful who you talk about and what you say and how you call other people broke and how you try to uh show off and girl flash all of your riches your rented riches in front of other people because you never know what that person you're talking about got right okay we're gonna tell Platt bye that's a message for damn gina i guess child bye Platt yeah seven you like her makeup channel i love her makeup channel girl she gave me the best damn eyebrow routine platt be putting the girls on now y'all um platt let us know when one another thing about platt she don't gatekeep right if something's on sale she gonna drop the link tell you go get it right and that's one thing she don't do she don't gatekeep anything she may hesitate on when she tell y'all about whatever the deal is because she know how how the plat brats will go buy it all out or you know maybe the consumer will eventually raise the price on whatever perfume or or food meal or whatever it is right but she doesn't gatekeep it she i think she said that that's her job as an influence like you know just to let people know about you know different things and all of that so i love that for plat baby she she not gatekeeping she says she ain't worried about it um, and I definitely do be tuned in to the damn makeup over there. So you don't get any, uh, complaints from me. Uh, we know that you're going to keep talking about damn Nicole. So, okay. Um, we also said that we didn't want Nicole to do a Q and a, but I feel like it's going to be one. So child, we just kingdom kingdom, just child. girl, we don't know. Uh, we in 35 minutes in now y'all, y'all know what we're moving on to that. Y'all did y'all tell Platt by, if not, then we're going to go back around over there. Y'all tell Platt bye.
or we gonna stick around. I seen Gina is over here damn still in clothes again, like she did with that girl's uh with that damn um uh what was it that damn Beyonce perfume? Gina's still over here scamming. We see you, Gina. We got girl, you getting reported. You getting reported, niece. You still over here scamming, girl. Y'all hear the paper ruffling? Uh, ruffling? That's my note, y'all. Mind y'all business, okay? Baby, y'all, y'all, y'all couldn't wait to tell Platt by y'all. The hell couldn't wait, cause I know what y'all came up here for. It's almost it's four hundred and fifty. I can't even count, y'all. It's four hundred and fifty nine of y'all in here. We thirty five minutes in. Did y'all remember to like the live, or y'all just not gonna do it? What y'all gonna do, y'all? Let me tell y'all why we just taking a little break while we see what what we could do with the thumbs, right? Um, huh? I realized, baby. Uh, I had, uh seen a picture of them, Gina, girl. I said, baby, I'm gonna leave Gina alone because I walk. When I go in my garage, I walk past that ellipt elliptical, that damn pull up bar. I walk past it so fast with my damn iced coffee and croissant in my hand, headed to the car. I said, you know what? I'm gonna leave Gina alone, right? I'm going to go leave Gina alone because, girl, I'm over here telling her to get her ass to the trainer. I got the I got the, the shit right here in my garage, and I'm walking right past. That's old niece. Uh, Gina, we, <laughs> well, I'm about to leave you in the trainer alone until I get my shit together, right? Um, Actually, y'all, actually, I got on it yesterday. I be listening to um Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts. If y'all um, aren't aware, Miss Fran, Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts. I love her channel. She um reacts to the mommy sector. If y'all are, are uh, familiar with any of like the single mommies. um, Oh, also Keisha Kaylee or Keisha Anderson. Baby, nobody drags Keisha like Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts. I love it. The way I the good. Good, you think I, baby, you think I be over here damn dragging Gina, baby. She drags Keisha by that damn wig, and I be tuned in for it. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, the other day I was listening to her, baby, talk about damn Keisha over there and the kids, and that, the, 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 I don't know, somebody was sick or something. Chum. But yeah, I enjoyed listening to Love Lies and Lace Fronts. And if y'all, you know, want to tune into or familiar, or want to get familiar with the mommy sector and all the singles and all of that that's going on over there. Yeah, Miss Fran will hook y'all up, honey. 221 likes. Okay. Tay says she is ghetto. She's ghetto. Keisha ghetto, right? Bria said Fran is my girl. Yeah, Fran's a sweetie. Payton, shout out to that friend. Uh, you know, a Payton, Payton makes her Payton makes her way around the damn uh, reaction channels, right? Uh, bless her heart. Peyton says she types in her name and she see what's going on. Peyton makes her way. She's no stranger to the reaction channels, girls. I think she'd have made her way to whoever done talked about her. She'd have made her way over there to their channel. And I love that for her because she's living her truth. She like, uh, yeah, y'all was over here talking about me. Yeah, I'm coming over here. And what about it? Uh -huh. Baby, Peyton makes her way. She makes her way around. Um, so y'all, how many likes we oh, wait a minute? Who said? How many likes do we have? Y'all, I could read, but sometimes, I don't know, it'd be giving a little bit of this. I ain't going to say it because I'm going to feel nobody, child. 221. And it's 470 of y'all in here. She's funny. Yeah. I, en I enjoy her commentary on, the, especially on the mommies and on, um, yeah, she covered the Ruby Frank. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy her her reaction, especially on the mommies and uh, the damn Keisha girl. I, I don't even watch Keisha like that girl. I be on the flow. You hear me? I be on the damn flow, y'all. Um, Rock just living said, "Can we run a commercial?" So you know what? Y'all can thank Rock just living because I'm gonna go ahead and run the commercials for y'all. You at least gotta pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, now grab the pole. Grab the pole. Yeah. Now pull your leg up to the next step. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, the backpack. Pack, backpack, backpack, backpack. Ankle swole, I'm out of control. I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, 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 backpack. Knee is swollen, my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. Gina. 
What? Put, put, put this foot first. Yeah. yeah. Put, put, put this foot first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see damn Gina was over there. She posted another vlog today, y'all. I just watched the, the last one that she posted. Child be so behind with, with damn Gina over there. Um, Gina got her ass over there in Tokyo. King Kong, don't be over there knocking down on people's buildings. The people done got PTSD. They said, what is it? A country, baby. When I tell you damn, I know Gina the took damn Texas over there to Tokyo, baby. Uh, y'all, y'all. Uh, real quick, I wanna I wanna have a very serious moment with you guys. If y'all don't mind me, just do y'all mind if I be transparent and just have a very much so um, serious moment with y'all? Do y'all mind? Y'all just drop some king crowns in the chat if y'all okay with me just coming to y'all and just asking y'all uh, for prayers right now because I really need y'all prayers and I'm gonna tell y'all why. Drop 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 me some king crowns in the chat if y'all okay with that. Right? Y'all let me know. Now, y'all, I'm be real honest with y'all. <laughs> I'm asking for y'all prayers right now. It's 497, my lovely kingdom on this in here. I'm asking for y'all prayers, y'all. If we could all come together as one kingdom and pray. If we could just all come together and pray. Let's just pray for Tokyo. Let's just all bow our heads and put our hands together and pray for Tokyo, right? I mean, ain't nothing wrong. It's just that Gina country ass is over there. I'm knocking down them people down buildings over there. So we just, we pray for Tokyo. Ain't nothing wrong with her, niece. Ain't nothing wrong with her. We just, girl. Whew. Gina gone, Gina gone to get you some more purses over there, niece. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, the side eye. Mm. God, God get you some bags, niece. We go, need We all die. Don't do it. We don't care. We already know. We lifted them up. And we, ain't, no, ain't no wrong with Tokyo with the good Gina over there. Uh, Gina, God, to get you some some bags or whatever. We're not in your business. We really don't care. We just mm. ah! <laughs> me myself and I say, can you imagine her saying regular degular around the foreigners? <laughs> well, hold on. Let me call Jennifer. See if she want one of these bags, baby. Uh. <laughs> this astrology says everything okay. Girl, y'all know I'm crazy. <laughs> y'all know I ain't got no damn set. Y'all, if I find a King Kong meme with him kicking over that building, oh, it's a, it's a wrap. Do you hear me? It is a wrap in the kingdom. Now, Gina got her ass over there in them. Uh, Tokyo, baby. She's cosplaying damn Kyra. She want Kyra life. So, Gina, can Kyra have her life back? Kyra can't even live her life for you trying to, because of you. You trying to live that. Can leave that baby alone. Cha, I'm going to go ahead and pull Gita's vlog up. Not the one from today with the dev. Uh, what was it, a gala time? We not doing that one today, y'all. Um, I'm not notification gang over there with Gina. Um, girl, if I see it, I see it. I don't just tap right off into it because I already know what Gina gives. And girl, I don't be having time. Now it's... Now it's becoming more like a damn girl work for me, kind of sort of. So chum. Um, anyway, I got Gina damn pulled up over here. Let me share my screen with y'all. It's 515 of y'all in here. Did y'all remember to like the live? And I know I know some of y'all over there talk about oh, I'm not liking the live. Yeah, I'm not. That's all you know what? You still over here watching. So guess what? That's the engagement, baby. Uh, now, y'all, Chong, y'all tell Gina hi. We over here with Gina in this damn Madea robe, niece. She already over here scamming the people. First two to three days, three days, I was literally sleeping more than I was awake. That's why I didn't vlog the whole, whole lie. I was, your girl was out of there. But we, we making it through. Y'all, I, th I think I told y'all, I ordered all of the kids' Christmas gifts online. They sent me their list. They sent me links and literally just tapped the link, ordered. So I did all my ordering three weeks in advance. Thankfully, everything came except for one order. I ordered everything. Girl, somebody said them. Somebody said them. Gene Kong. Can y'all remember that? Gene Kong. <laughs> Gina, don't, don't. Gina, don't you put that, that Tokyo. We know you're going to put the Tokyo footage out. 
We know you're going to do it, niece. The kingdom on is, is, do you hear me? Locked and loaded. They already have gave you the name Gene Kong. Do you hear me? I didn't even do it. With the kingdom on is, what the kingdom on is did. Do you, Gina? Gene Kong, niece? Gene Kong? Oh, niece. Everything the beginning of December, that very first, either the last week of November, first week of December. Anyways, I ordered these the first week of December. Okay. Oh, it was Toya. <laughs> when we were a week away from Christmas, I emailed the company and I said, Hey, it's been two weeks and I don't have any type of shipping sent to me. They did not respond. So Christmas came. Gina's explaining to us how she's a, the girl did, did theft by credit again, allegedly. True. When I told Ethan, Hey, uh, you have one more package that's on the way. I guess I, I ordered it too late. It hasn't come yet. So the first week of January rolls around. And how, I many times, how many times has uh, Big Bag, uh, Big Bank Hank over here, how many times has Big Bank Hank been called her damn uh, uh, credit card people that been like, I ain't got the merchandise. Whole time she's spraying on damn Beyonce perfume, uh, putting on the Beyonce lipstick and walking around in damn Beyonce robe. Whole time she got all the merchandise that she said she didn't get. How many times has Gina done done this? Gina, they watching you. They watching you. Sure. I emailed them again. Hey, it's now been a month. I don't have any shipping confirmation. I emailed you guys like what's going on. No response. So I wait another two weeks. We're now mid-January, okay? Mid-January, I go ahead and put a claim in with my bank. I get a refund. They just emailed me because y'all know it takes. They refund you. Hey, Domini. You automatically, at least my bank does, refunds you automatically, but it doesn't hard post until like 30 days. So I just got a message. Gina, are you also into the credit repair uh, business? Ask for a friend. Ah! It's Friday, I want to say, that it was done. Case closed. I get to keep the, I think it was like a hundred. Ah! Gina! Uh, <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Thank you for calling Credit Fraud, Credit Fraud Department. Hi, may I help you? My name is Miss Catherine. Uh, hi, Miss Catherine. This is the uh, Mimi from the Kingdom. Uh, I have my Kingdom Monas on the line too. We'd like to report Gina Janine. She been over there stealing, and it's some fraud going on with the credit card. We just want to let you know what all do you. I don't know any of her information. I can give you her YouTube channel, and you can go over there. Okay, thank you. Hold, please, ma'am, because we just got another call about this a couple of weeks ago. We've been watching her ever since she uh, came back and told us that she didn't get that Beyonce perfume. And then we received the Carfax that she did. Okay, ma'am, uh, we're hold. Uh, I know I gave you my name, but can you keep this anonymous? Uh, and she's not in. She's not here right now. She's in Tokyo, knocking doors down. I mean, buildings down. Uh, okay, Miss Catherine, we'll hold. Sure. Y'all, this showed up today. This showed up today. The three t-shirts. So what do I do? Do I what do you do? Gina, the girl. Be... Now look, shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. In front of the camera, Gina. Look, niece, if you're gonna do something, do it right. First of all, girl, I'm not, I ain't girl, I don't have to tell you what I'm gonna do. Don't worry about me. Uh you in front of the camera, so you kind of have a... Uh, I don't know, responsibility to, you got to look a certain kind of way. You can't be up here damn still, right? So you, either you didn't have to tell us about the shirts or you could have just said, oh, y'all look, uh, my baby shirts finally got here. I ordered these on Christmas and left it at that, right? Um, and then behind the scenes, just kept being, just kept, kept on being a uh, scamming Gina. We already talked to Miss Catherine at the credit card fraud department. Uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, Gina, we got a claim number and everything. But you could have kept that offline. We didn't need to know that. We didn't need to involve Miss Miss Damn Catherine or any of that, right? Um, but since you came up here, then you got to quote unquote do the right thing, Gina. You talk too much. What's that cool money song? You talk too much and you never shut the hell up. So now you scamming and you a thief. After you just said that you don't like uh, scamming people, you didn't want to do the whole insurance, go to the hospital. When you got in that car accident, uh, I don't want to go to the hospital. Uh, I'm okay. I don't want to go just because I got in a car accident. I don't like doing things like that. I'm a very truthful person. It's been two times so far on camera that I've seen where you've been very much so undamn truthful. So uh, you're a horrible liar. I just wish you would have just kept this up. Gina, we not hold on. What's going on with the oranges? Sean? Gina, what's going on with the oranges back there? What we ain't eating the oranges? What's them cuties? Huh? Hell, I got sidetracked. Okay, y'all, let's go. Sure.
I let my bank know, hey, the items came, you can actually charge back. I don't even know how that works because, like I said, the case was closed in my bank. Um, Gina, you get it. Cut the camera. Edit this part out. Gina, didn't they have you take down, didn't you have to take down one of your vlogs or something and re-edit it and re-upload it? This was one of the parts that you should have took down out the vlog because we, Gina, so now we know you just, you allegedly theft by, what what they call it, theft by credit card. What happened, Gina? Gina, somebody said they hate that robe on you. Uh, up under the robe, Gina got on last night's damn shirt over there, y'all. Don't worry about it. Chum. Paper. I got my hundred dollars back, and it's just so weird that I emailed y'all twice, no response. We don't think we I don't, don't get think it. And did. then they show up in the mail. It's so Gina, weird. you ain't even going to them kids' school once to talk to the principal about the art teacher uh, giving your son a zero. You let a pregnant art teacher bully you over the phone. Uh, you didn't even go up to that school once to check the art teacher. So we know you ain't emailed this company twice about this damn merchandise. Jenna, leave us alone. We don't care. So Ethan's going to be happy <laughs> that his t-shirts are here. And because they never showed up, I wound up ordering him more stuff as like replacement items. <laughs> so now technically, I watch TV, I watch Baddies, I watch Mirror to Medicine, and I watch um, Housewives of Potomac. So I'm all caught up on my little trash TV. Yeah, I'm about to pop up in a can of soup just because I just want something light. I don't want nothing. Um, is that low sodium? Look the freeze frame. Is that low sodium fat free soup, Gina? What is that, Gina? Where'd you get? Where'd you get it from? Didi's or Dollar Tree? Y'all look at the freeze frame. I don't know how the hell I keep getting it. Gina. No tea, no shade, niece. I don't know how I get these freeze frames of you. I don't mean to. It's just where the damn the buzzer stops, right? My bad, niece. Uh, Gina, that damn soup got all that sodium. You know, sodium swells you up, niece. Look, I'll put you back up here that way you're not. Yeah. Child. Heavy. Um, like I said, just with my, even though I'm 85% better, I still haven't been eating a whole eight, I want to say. Maybe 2008, 2009. I'm in April. And Jessica. I met them at the same time. They've been best friends for like 20 years. Or I think one. Longer, maybe so yeah i met them around 2008 2009 somewhere somewhere in there uh gina's gonna go ahead to give the damn talk i'm pretty sure y'all already seen it uh harlem says she is she hunched over harlem you did you say it was lint niece did you say it was lint little mama says she need a diet you know what gina gina when you come over here niece don't read my live chat don't read the chat just don't because i don't even bubble up all the comments and i don't even read some of them out loud because girl the kingdom mommy is just savages you hear me savages uh so just listen to the sound of my country voice right uh gina now gina said that baby she was over there messing with one of her baby she had messed with some dude and then her friend her good friend april got with uh gina why it always give that it, it always you with another man and then the man be with your best friend or the dead why do it always be something like that go is this another it was low-key a damn 304 tale right uh that's what this gave over here and gina's over here drinking while she was putting on the makeup i don't know what went on with this makeup because i didn't like it i'm gonna show y'all it was looking real orange so crazy. anyway Gina says she's been friends with them for 15 years. Gina loves telling us how long she's been friends with all these people. Uh, the, the baby, she got all the friends in the world. Don't, uh, baby, maybe about a quarter of them, a quarter of one of them shows up at a birthday event. We always see her at, a, at her birthday event. It always be her co-workers, right? She didn't even brought it damn, uh, the Tweedledee and Tweedledam dump over there, right? It just be co-workers. I don't really be seeing all these friends that she be talking about. They be acting like they low-key don't want to be on camera or they not even that, that they don't even want to be around her or that they really not just friends with her. They just all associates, right? That's what I'm getting from it. Uh, Gina wants us to know, Gina, what's wrong with the wig? What happened? It slid back. Uh, Gina wants us to know the baby. She's been friends with one of them for over 15 years. Why do we always got to have a damn friend talk? Well, do we care? I don't know anyone over there that cares about all these friends you got, but when it's time for your ass to move, you're going to make sure that you call your friend Nene and Jennifer over there to help you. You're going to call them. Uh, them other girls, the, the, the ticket gate uh, madam and the other girl, you're not calling them, right? Uh, Jenna, somebody said that the damn wig is balding. Which wig is that so we know not to purchase from this, this company? Which wig is this, Jenna? 
Chomp? Look like the, yeah, right back up here, right. Yeah. And Gina, what happened with the makeup? Because now the makeup not looking cute. It normally look cute. You normally be doing your big one. Gina, the hands is, oh, come on, Gina. Um, me and April dated the same guy. So it's like She's so happy to say that her and April dated the same damn guy. Do you hear me? Gina wanted them to know that she dated the same damn guy. Gina over here drinking by herself. Y'all know how Gina said, let me go back to it. Y'all know how Gina say, I don't drink. I don't drink. I'm a social drinker. I don't drink. And a little bit of Minute Maid mango juice. Uh, Gina's over here drinking by herself, putting on this makeup, the wig, the slid back, the, the baby, she got on the same damn robe. So I guess it's just a shower hadn't been had yet. Uh, she's trying to give us the recipe to some nasty ass quote unquote libations that she didn't had over there or how the hell damn ever it is. Right. Uh, do we care? Hell, I'm still on that damn drink. The damn, uh, Peyton had when she did her last live. I'm still on that. Gina, no one cares about this sugar-free uh, Minute Maid uh, juice that your ass got from Dee Dee's. No one cares about... We, Gina, we really don't care. Uh, Gina, someone said, where's the edges to the wig? Oh, let me... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So dinner tonight... And then you... Gina, didn't you say that you didn't need those extra calories over there? Didn't you say that you didn't need the extra... <laughs> Baby, Ashley said all she do is drink and... <laughs> You know what? You y'all better be good at these comments. I'm not in the comments right now. Mods, uh, babe, I can't even trust some of my damn mods. I'm gonna have to get some more extra mods in here because I can't trust my mods in there. My mods be cutting up. I can't trust them. Watch my back. I'm not just in her face. I just kid FaceTime me. Chump. Yeah, let's continue. Mods, I'm gonna need y'all to man the chat that be on y'all best behavior now. With Jessica in April. Y'all know y'all don't see them. That uh April wind up not going to the dinner. April said, No, no, I'm not going to dinner with you. You just sat over there and told them people that I supposedly had your sloppy seconds. I'm not going out to dinner with you, Jean Kong. That's what had happened, y'all. Um, now y'all. I know y'all have watched the vlog and all of that. Baby Harlem said, this is a mukbang, a mukbanging channel. Sure. Chakra said, my moms are the funniest. In the yeah, my girl, my moms is tea, aren't they? They're tea. <laughs> uh, she said, I know y'all already watched the vlog. Y'all done seen the home. I, I hate to do I'm it. I'm on my babe. channel. <clears throat> and even when I am with them, they really don't like being on camera. So, like, y'all probably won't see them tonight either. Y'all will probably just see my food and, and me. That's it. Because I respect people who they're wishing to do tomorrow. Clean makeup. 2008, 2009. I mean, uh, Gina over here not washing these makeup brushes, but she says she don't care. She hasn't had a breakout. Gina's back to talking about her skin and how good her skin is and how she haven't had a breakout. Now, Gina, why are we talking about breakouts on your breakouts and skin uh, all of a sudden again? What happened, niece? <laughs> Gina, <laughs> you better stop these. You better stop these. That's all I'm going to say. You better stop. And Jessica, I made them this at the same time. They've been best friends for like 20 years, or I think longer, maybe. So yeah, I met them around 2008, 2009, somewhere, somewhere in there. Damn, I've been friends with them over 15 years. Uh, did y'all catch the part where she said, uh, I got her muted because I got to help her get this part out. Uh, did y'all catch the part where she said that she had met April's uh, boyfriend that was her boyfriend first when she lived in an apartment? She said her and Tina lived in, her mom had put them up in an apartment. She said Tina was a senior in high school. Tina was 19. Yeah, so I dated this guy back in, oh my God, this is when I had my very first apartment. So Tina was finishing her last year of high school. So I was like 20. Y'all know me and Tina only a year and a half apart. So Tina was a 19 year old senior. Now y'all, don't y'all, King Demonians, don't do it. Now take the what and leave the what. Now maybe Tina's birthday was late. I don't know. I, Toya, why are you laughing? <laughs> Girl. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm sipping my water. Just. I mean, I don't know. Maybe her birthday was late. Uh, the, the, girl, I don't know. I like I I graduated like I was 17 because my my because of my birthday is like earlier within the so it was before I graduated. I, I don't know. Um 
uh i don't i need i need to know in the chat like do y'all was her birthday late uh 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 callie said she got held back she thought oh oh they oh wait a minute uh, uh Brittany, good you know you got to i shouldn't be bubbling up the damn comment um Brittany niece you got to misspell your words niece you got to misspell your cuss words uh huh i mean and y'all i don't want to offend anyone if it's someone in the in part of the kingdom uh, part of the kingdom if you were 19 20 or 20 when you graduate high school mimi is not trying to offend anyone y'all i be trying to be bit very careful when i say stuff about other people because i'm starting to uh you know what i'm saying i gotta remember and take my kingdomonians and their situations into consideration. So I can't really just wear people out like that. Because I don't want to offend any of my lovely kingdomonians. So if one of y'all was in this situation, I'm, Mimi apologizes. No tea, no shade. I'm, I, I apologize. Um, okay. Let's just move on, y'all. Let's just, let's just, let's just carry on. That ain't our business. So let's try. Yes, yeah, so I was like 20 when I met him. Maybe 21. So this had to be about... 2002 uh gina said i was 20 damn gina y'all gina was a mama already um uh, well we already know that ain't, ain't wasn't nothing wrong with that gina um gina don't you wish mtv had been out around that time because then you could have been on um what was it teen mom you could have was it out then no i don't think it was you could have been on there you could have popped right okay i want to move ahead to something else that i thought was kind of funny y'all her but it's still weird that <laughs> Once we got cool, it's like, oh wow, that's your boyfriend. Oh, girl, I'm just letting you know, you know, I, I fucked him a few years ago. And Ooh, she said, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. know. Whatever. Um, so yeah, it's just funny. But Houston, Houston's dating scene for people who always say it's trash. I want to know why. Why do y'all say the dating scene is trash? And not just for Houston, just whatever city you live in. Like, why is the dating scene trash? Is it because guys aren't ready to settle down, or is it because? Guys are trying to juggle multiple women. Or uh, Gina, y'all, this is what I want to talk about right here. Gina, first of all, don't come up here capping these. We, 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 we know you fun time friend, so you don't care. We already know you don't care. Um, yeah, yeah, girl, team, shit. Well, I wish the damn show would have been around then, right? Um, uh, Gina, we know you don't care. It gives fun time friend over there. You wanna know why is the dating scene trash? Why is it? Why do y'all care? Why, why? I don't understand. What's the big deal? Uh, Gina, maybe it's because depending on the, the, the female or the male who's single and out in a quote unquote dating scene, they may be dating with a purpose. You know, they may be dating to try to find their forever person or their, you know, someone to spend, you know, they're probably not just dating to turn around and, and they not just, girl, I don't even know how to damn say it. They're dating with a purpose, Gina. Now we know you don't, everybody don't just want to be a fun time friend, Gina. Everybody don't just want to be that. Some people don't want to just keep uh, going to the club every night. It, Gina, we know you don't get it, niece. We know you don't get it, niece. It's 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 morals, it values, self, uh, self-worth, all that comes into play. We know you don't care, Gina. And if Houston is all that popping and all of that, how come, uh, where's Prince Hakeem? How come all the guys that you talk about, we don't really hear about them no more? Where is the contractor who built um, who built Rihanna and Beyonce's house? Where is he at? Uh, where is Prince Hakeem? We we want to know what 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 happened to Shata? Since the damn dating scene is all that and a bag of chips, and you don't understand what the problem is, how come you wound up with Wolf, who ain't even from the great state of Texas, right? And has already been in the YouTube streets and the social, uh, the Instagram streets, the TV streets, has already been canoodled with one of your, maybe possibly two of your co-workers over there, right? Um, how you wind up with him if Houston dating scene is all that you want and more, right? That's what the hell I want to know, right? Okay, let's carry on. 
was just because there's just weirdos. Like, what is it that makes the dating scene weird? Because when, when I was out in these dating streets, I was having fun. I guess it was because I, I told y'all. Fun time friend says she Gina, you didn't have a choice but to have fun. What what else was you gonna do? Do you think you Gina was any guy giving you the option for anything other than fun? That's what the hell you was. I didn't I tell y'all fun time friend. That's what the hell you was gonna. You didn't have another option. You didn't have a uh yeah, let's let, let's let's kick and see where this goes. I'm interested in getting to know your favorite color, what you like, what you you know, what's your five year plan? Like what it can I be a part? You didn't have an option to be anything other than fun, me. So you took that and you rolled with it. So what the hell are we talking about? We don't you act like it was options. Gina, you wind up with damn wolf. Wolf, girl, we sick of seeing Wolf. Wolf don't even have multiple outfits. Y'all go out on a damn date. This man gonna set a wear the same black hat turned back with a hoodie. And I don't know, maybe he also rocking a pair of DD's one size black leggings. I don't damn know. Gina, the people also reminded me to tell you, baby, where is the damn Drake concert footage? Gina, where is that? <sighs> niece. We just want to know. Now, y'all, let's get back into it, y'all. Gina is a man. I don't know if she's low key giving really dating tips or what. I was like, what? anything was to happen, I was just allowed to happen naturally, but I wasn't actively going out looking for a partner. I was just going out on dates to have fun. Just to. I told y'all. I told y'all. Did I tell y'all for fun? I told y'all. I ain't got a lot of y'all social that you know i wasn't like oh my god i need to get married by a certain time i need to do this by a certain age i'm so as if that was ever an option as if that was ever no cause was those cars went out the damn window with damn earl what do you mean them cars went out the window with earl shot the one hanging around no longer he was just there long enough to get your damn uh dior dupe lip gloss and a uh, uh, a luxury handbag and he was gone on about his business gina why are you acting like you had options niece we see we see we see what's going on we know better than that niece sure lonely i'm so lonely i'm so lonely it was never that so gina said i'm so lonely i'm so lonely it's never that gina <laughs> okay girl Gina, what the hell you want us to do with that? Did anybody say to that thing about you being, I'm so lonely, I'm so lonely? Girl, we don't care. You could say one thing and we see another damn thing on camera. I never understood why people say the dating scene is trash, but y'all want to get in the combo. Y'all let me know down below why y'all think the dating scene is trash in your city. But um, also think about dating long distance. Dating long distance is fun. Dating long distance might be a good idea for some people if you like to travel and y'all can travel back and forth to see each other. Ah! Gina said, consider dating long distance. You can travel back and forth to see each other. <laughs> Gina, get your ass. When have you ever traveled your ass to damn Wolf's hometown, home state, home in general? When? What the hell do you mean travel back and forth to see? He travels to H time to see. You are never traveling to that man's home. What the hell are you talking about? Gina, leave us the hell alone. You would have traveled back and forth to Canoodle with some woman's husband. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Girl, if you don't leave us alone, Gina said travel back and forth to see each other. Oh, niece. Gina... Gino, you know you ain't done not a nimmy nimmy. That y'all meet up in other damn states, wherever y'all go. That's all the hell that goes on over there, right? Gina, y'all not traveling back and forth to see each other. He's traveling to your home. You never traveling to his damn home. Mariah said that he's homeless. <laughs> Gina, the people seeing your man homelessness. Now, what's going on with that? Let us know, niece. Sure. Then, if you're someone who doesn't want to be up under somebody all the time, it gives you your space. They can have their space. You can have your space. And then distance makes the heart grow fonder. You can. Uh, Gina, no. First of all, no one is taking damn dating advice from a woman who dates uh, her coworkers' exes, uh, other people's other women's husbands, or your good friend's man, your good friend's man's side chick. No one's taking damn dating advice from you over there. So you can you can keep that. Matter of fact, don't take your own dating advice. We don't even want you to hell do that. Chum. You know, miss your boo. 
So that's also an option, y'all. You don't have to just date within your city, you know, but yeah. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm just doing a quick beat on my face. I have an outfit picked out. I'm hoping it fits. I have not worn this jumpsuit in two years. I have gained a good 35 pounds since I have worn this jumpsuit. So it stretches, so I'm hoping it fits. Uh, Gina says she's gained a good 35 pounds. Uh, okay. Let's just see, Gina. We don't, I mean, I don't know how you had a trainer. You did it. Okay, Gina. And I'm hoping it looks right. So y'all pray for me. It's a Zara jumpsuit size medium, bitch, and I don't wear nothing. Why do we need to pray that you could fit this jumpsuit? You just sat over that, Gina. Gluttony is a sin, Miss. Gluttony is a sin. You didn't set your ass over there and you didn't ate, you didn't ate yourself into undoing almost everything that the surgeon has done, Miss. You're gonna have to lay down on the damn table like that damn operation game and get the shit done all over again. And then you said 35 pounds. Okay, that's your business. I don't care. Like if that's what you said you gained, that's the I don't I don't care. I don't care. Uh uh, maybe the kingdom owners might drag you in a chat about that, Gina. But you safe with Mimi, good. I'm not gonna get off into all that and what you got going on. But Gina said she wants us to pray that the suit fit. Not the medium, no more from Zara. I have I was in a size large Zara. They stretchy stuff for the longest. We have graduated to uh, extra large in the stretchy stuff in Zara. Oh, that stuff that don't stretch. To it. Uh, Gina said that. Um, huh. So Gina, you not a size ten then, right? Gina says she's graduated, right? Gina said that she's graduated from a large and stretchy spandex. Y'all remember that part that uh scene from uh, Professor Clump? Spandex, all spandex. Um, Gina said that she's graduated from a large in spandex to an extra large, huh? Well, I mean, Gina, that's you. I don't know. Like, okay, she seems okay with it, y'all. Like, it doesn't bother her. If Gina, if you like it, I love it. I'm not here to damn talk about the weight, girl. That that's your business. But you had damn a uh, Heidi over there and then you had the damn personal trainer and then how many times have you taken us to on the fake gym tour the gym runs right you would have on be filling up your towel ass a water cup in the morning and uh your gym what is that your damn thermos with your water in it and have on your gym clothes your halora gym wear and you say okay y'all guys come on we're going to the gym and then we'd be if we'd be in the car you know and then you come back eight minutes later and you i don't know we leave. Said so we just took your word for it. You said you was going in the gym, and then after we start clocking your tea about you not going in the gym, just sitting in a parking lot somewhere, then you started taking us in the damn gym, and that's when you was getting on them people's equipment and it just being in the damn way because it wasn't too much going on over there on that that treadmill. I mean, you was I I seen you lift a barbell, but that little barbell you was lifting wasn't gonna do too much. You was just over there. uh uh, paddling around a pussy for them, them people's damn equipment over there, girl. That's what was going on over there in the gym. So who do you got to blame? And then you want us to pray for you after you just sat in our face and played with us about all this different, all these different uh damn gym um damn experiences. Like you did all these different little incidents. Everything you could have been over there doing, Gina. We don't care if the suit fit, it fit. If it don't, it don't. But it do fit, and her ass wound up looking like a damn janitor cleaning uh classrooms in it i'll show y'all sure. sometimes that don't even fit <laughs> the pants my, my my zara pants that have no stretch to them. girl L let me let me we're gonna leave it right here because i think this is the time stamp because it's, it's a little it's a little yeah dude skin you by new sticks gina get like twenty dollars and then i think i had a uh it was a coupon code on retail me not gina like loves some like damn retail me not yeah i check retail me not it is. It was a coupon code on Retail Me Night. I think it took like $2 off. Yeah, I'll check Retail Me Night. Okay, y'all. The jumpsuit fits, as you can see. A Zara brown sweater jumpsuit. It is snatching. It is. Okay, so uh, what, 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 what is the suit? What does it do, Gina? Does it fit or does it don't fit? At first you said that it that it stretches. So you said, y'all, it stretches. So hopefully I can fit it. But now you said it's snatching. So what is it doing? Did it stretch or did it compress? What lie do you want us to damn go with? Which which lie do you want us to damn go with over there? At first, it, it, it does it stretch out or is it compressing you in? Like, what are we doing? And then let's, girl, let's look at the outfit. Uh, Gina... I don't know if you're going to dab a uh, mine, some coal, or I don't know if you're going to go clean uh, the, the, some classrooms. Uh, um, Gina, why do you have this janitor suit on? Why would you wear this? Out of all of it, you have 
some cute pieces in your closet that could be put together. Why did we wear this? Where are we going afterwards? What, what's going on? Why, why do you do this? And Gina, what size is it? The people said, show us the damn tag. Sure. Snatch it, baby. And then, uh, yeah. And then my Louis boots. Nothing too major. Yeah. Girl, uh, Gina said nothing too major. Okay, Gina. Uh, I bet yeah, I bet my damn baby toe and my left thumb that the suit don't go all the way down. The pants don't go all the way down to the damn uh, ankles. So, baby, that's why she wore them damn Louis boots. And then she probably got some scrunchy socks on with it, y'all. Well, maybe, well, maybe she saved the scrunchy socks for when she wore them uh, Balenciaga sneakers that that lady husband bought her. Sure. So we're at Moxie's y'all been here many times before. The place we were going to at first travelers table. I'm a fight y'all. Um, y'all bet don't do it. So we're like, yep, let's pick somewhere that closes. Girl. Uh hold on, y'all. Y'all know what's coming up. Don't don't act, don't y'all act like it. Cause I, I need to know. Night, so this is where we're at now. And it's just me and Jessica April. Now, y'all, uh, uh, Gina went out to eat with, with, uh, what's friend is this? Uh, is this April? Which one is this? Uh, the, the other one, Jessica, right? Uh, girl. Gina, justice and shit. Gina, why do you do this? Why would you put your friend on? Oh, this is a horrible angle. Mind you, just say, just can't breathe. Um, Gina, why would you do this? Like, this is why people don't want to be on camera because you don't get them in the best light. Now, mind you, in the girl's defense, she probably don't, you know what I'm saying? She probably looks fairly decent or more than, you know, probably a little bit past decent. Uh, this is a bad and someone coming up the stairs with a high density wig on and then, you know, their makeup, you know, that angle anyway is not really going to eat on anyone because your head is down. The wig is, 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 is a, a very thick wig. It's not going to eat anyway. That's just a horrible angle in my opinion. And Gina, your filter slid off your face. The, you, see, you see that? Gina, you see how your filter slid off now we kind of see the old nose over here on you so you over here trying to show us her and then your filter slid off a little bit because we don't whose face is this it's like we see a little bit of your old nose over here you too busy trying to show uh show her uh, struggling to come up the damn stairs then we can see your old face over here sure. <laughs> Now she she was sweet. She was sweet enough to wave, like because you know what I hate when people be on camera, like your friend or whoever be on camera, then they just be rude. They be like, get the camera off of me, or blah blah blah. So she was sweet enough to wave at the people. So I can't appreciate that. Uh, Gina, you was too busy trying to show, uh, put the camera on her, probably at a very unflattering moment, and then you caught the stray. Cause I said, wait a minute, Gina, is that you? No, that's her friend. Um, her friend Jessica, I think. And y'all, we don't know. J Jessica probably could have just got off work, or um, girl, we don't know. We we don't know, right? Um, uh, we we haven't seen Jessica in a minute, in a minute, right? And maybe it's the lighting right there too. But I think she's um, 
like that's her complexion anyway. Well, we've seen her in previous vlogs. Um, and you know, of course, when we've seen Jessica in other vlogs, she didn't look like this at all, at the hell all. So good. I'm just gonna say it was a bad angle, and then I'm just gonna mind my business, but I'm gonna say, Jenny, that's why that's why you ain't got no friends now. That's why you ain't got no friends now, because you childish. I was gonna say it's like you just step back in where you left off, but I guess I never really left off since we text every single day, you know. But it's just always so good to see your friends in person. So it was a really nice dinner. Hey y'all. Uh Gina said good that she stays in touch with her friends every day. Do we damn care? Gina, I don't think we care that much about you with the damn friend every day. We Gina, we don't really be that interested. Like if y'all talk, y'all talk. If y'all don't talk, y'all don't talk. Why you keep trying to make us? We don't want to have the friend talk over here with you. We don't care. It's way more interesting thing to talk about besides you, Jessica, you, April, uh, you sleeping with April's man or the other friend's man. You, girl, you really low key be with your coworkers more than you be with your damn quote unquote real friends, right? Unless you over there with Jennifer. But Jennifer was just with her real friends on the actual, actual real friends trip. It wasn't a co-worker or a work damn trip over there, Gina. Sure. Uh, Gina's over here. Can y'all see the screen? Um, yeah, y'all, we're going to leave Jessica alone because that was a horrible angle. I would have drop kicked damn Gina if I was her. Um, baby, Gina is over here. She's getting her son's hair done or whatever. Let's try to play it. Hair salon, Ethan, is getting his hair twisted. I'm tired. And this is taking way longer than what I was told. We're only 15 minutes over. She said the appointment was at 6 30. She pushed it back to 7 30. Why is everything why is everything a huge inconvenience when it comes to the kids, right? Um, why is it a huge inconvenience? Like, yeah, she pushed it back. She only 15 minutes over. Uh okay. Why does it seem like you bothered? You was also bothered because they had to the kid, the kids were still with you. Was it Christmas Eve or whatever? When they were supposed to go with their dad? Why do you begin so bothered about that? That's what I want to know. Chong, Gina, let us know. Uh, Gina's back in his damn kitchen cooking some more shitty food. We told Gina she can't cook. She still wants to do it. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Let me pause this. Girl, this damn Gina. She over here cooking some more shitty food. Um, I think Gina making. What was Gina making? Some damn oxtails. Yo. I'm listening to the story about the guys, the Kansas City Chiefs fans, who supposedly froze. In um, yeah. Gina, oh, she making a pot roast. And she has her, she... Gina making a pot roast. For somebody who don't eat damn beef over here, right? Gina making a pot roast. Okay, Gina, go off. Gina, we know you can't cook. We see all the nasty uh, packages. I guess she's going to do a haul. Those is on the kitchen counter right there where she prepares food and all of that. So that's nasty too. Okay, Gina. In their friend's backyard. I have heard a little bit about this story, but um, the girl who I'm watching, she does like a deep dive into like cases and stuff. But sounds crazy so far. Anyways, y'all, I'm just cutting up veggies from my pot room. So I'll put this on with you guys later, maybe tomorrow. I was up one night on Gap. Y'all, where is the talk about the uh let me read y'all comments really fast? Where is the talk about the um the damn child support? Do y'all want to see the haul? I really don't care to see her girl. I do want to talk about this really fast. Girl, let's get off into this Walona, uh Walona Woods. Let's see if it is as small as they say in the comment section. Oh, the sleeves are short. Short. Cause you're tall. You're tall, Gina. You have long arms. Twenty dollars. Like I think I like it. I actually thought it was gonna be longer. I was hoping this one came more down here. So I kind of want to recreate this outfit that I saw Kyra do. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Gina wants to recreate. Gina, can you keep your ass off Kyra's page, Kyra? If it's any damn Kyra, the damn sub the subs over here, y'all welcome to the kingdom. Y'all know we don't really we talk about Kyra, but not really like that. Um, y'all go over to tell Kyra, tell Kyra that TT is is, is good cosplaying her life, baby. She's uh, copying her style, and that Kyra really needs to block TT Gina from her channel, right? She just wants it, Gina. Can you just uh, leave Kyra alone? She's a young girl. 
uh, just leave her alone, please. Like, I want to know why you're not over there watching some of the girlies your age who can actually dress and who be putting on the clothes and looking nice. You don't, do you watch Monroe still? Do you watch her? I don't see you watching her. Uh, Plat Platinum might be, she be wearing some clothes you probably try to get off into. She be covered up over there too. You might could run around over there to her. You, I've noticed that you don't never really be watching the girls with the ladies within your age group. You be over there in Kyra's them business and all in the younger girls business, right? You really need to find some, some, uh, some stylish, uh, YouTube content to watch because uh girl, that's what you need to do. Now I'm not gonna tell you who else channel to, to watch because girl that it'll just be girl, it'll be down. Oh Lord, it'll just be a whole I ain't gonna do it, baby. I'll be the ruffle some feathers, but I'm just saying you need to kind of read the room, niece. Um, this is ugly on you. This jacket is going to do nothing for thank you, T Park Gina. High, low, lux. Go watch that channel. Um, niece, this jacket is going to do nothing for your shape. Nothing. Because first of all, it's coming down too far. So it's covering up your 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 smaller waist. Yeah, she had a pink so it's, she had it's wide. It's making you look wide. Look, it's, it's making you look wide. The only way to get away with this is to probably wear, I don't know, something form fitting because you can't wear anything too oversized because you already you know you 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 thick you look thick over there I'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm mimi's not saying that at all but you need to either the jacket needs to be cropped it needs to be shorter this is too long it makes you look wide i don't like it gina don't wear this jacket it's gonna add uh pounds onto you it's gonna make you look wider in the midsection than you are don't do it don't wear it add on but just a really cute outfit i think it was some wide leg jeans or wide leg sweatpants and then like a cropped logo t-shirt i want to try to recreate that look but her jacket was longer and i was hoping this one would be too this is uh walona woods we we don't we don't want you to child. Let me get let me get the uh, the baby out the way because child, I don't got time for that. Uh, Walona Woods, leave that jacket alone. Get give that jacket back and go on have you a good times uh, somewhere else. You hear me? Not crop crop, but y'all look at the, the look at the jacket. We can't really even see, right? Y'all, we can't see because of what? Why can't we see this jacket? Want to know why we can't see the get the total look? Because look at all this shit on the counter right here. And she cooking food over there. Why we ain't eating these oranges? Why we not getting our vitamin C? That's why you be sick over there. You don't get enough vitamin C. Uh, look at these clothes. Look, 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 look. Child, this should have been. Why we didn't do a try on haul in the room? You opening up all these clothes. You touching them with your hands. And then you got to wash them or send them off to the cleaners before you wear them. Or you just going to wear them like that, Gina? let's get off into the damn child support talk so we can get away from over here with gina uh and let me put up something because gina over here with her backside i uh girl i don't know if youtube gave her the warning or not but gina girl you know you can't be doing it i'll put gina back up but i gotta wait y'all for sure i got you i got you for sure because you've been you've been doing what you need to do to help me out my do what you think I do, man. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you. For sure. I got you. I got you. For sure. Because you've been, you been, you been doing what you need to do to help me out and burn out. And of course, you know, I got you like four flats now. Well, I done gave him $150 yesterday to put in an application for an apartment. I gave him $150. So his ass better have done it. For this apartment application, and then I told him I'm giving him a thousand dollars to help him move in. Yeah, he got Jennifer got a whole living room of furniture for him. Tina got furniture for him, so he he all he would have to buy is a bedroom set. Uh, y'all, let me read you. girl, Jim, what's going on? <laughs> y'all, Gina is a mess. Y'all, Gina is a mess over here. Do y'all hear me? Gina is a mess. Gina is a mess. I love it. The entertainment over here, girl. When we give him a thousand dollars, he should be that should be a good jump start for him. Uh, 
So a thousand dollars is a good jump start. Gina, do you not know a thousand dollars is like a drop in a bucket these days, as high as prices. A thousand dollars. You a thousand dollars these days is like two hundred dollars. Like you really can't get too much bang for your buck with a thousand damn dollars. Some people spending that on a at the grocery store in a week, or like every two weeks is a thousand dollars being spent on groceries. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A thousand dollars doesn't go as far as you think it should go, Gina. A thousand dollars ain't gonna even get you a decent bed. Do you hear me? A thousand dollars, Gina. What where, where you at, Chum? You better add some more zeros on to that. Why you couldn't give them 10000 Didn't you tell us that you are Big Bank Hank Chaw? Right, so he did. He told me it's a small one-bedroom apartment. He said it's close like five minutes from you. Okay, man. Go, yeah, go ahead. I'm about to get some work done. Okay. All right. Mm. All right, bye. Uh, one thing Gina loves to do, Gina loves to put us in her business. Gina loves to put her in her business and make us think it and think it's a flex, right? And think it's an entire flex. Gina, a thousand dollars. I hope you're not just giving. What are you giving that to him for? To go to Target and get his essentials and little shit like bathroom stuff and pots and pans and a comforter set. Uh, she said that uh, Jennifer is giving him. Uh, a, a living room, a couch set. Where's Keisha's Oppman? He didn't want the Oppman? He didn't want Keisha Oppman? Huh. Chum. Gina, what happened to that furniture that you had upstairs in that no game room? Is it still up there? Girl, look at the freeze frame. I'm going to move the freeze frame so y'all can see it real fast, but I got to put it back up, baby. Uh, Chum. Yeah, that was... Uh... Byron's dad. I told y'all my goal at the end of the Let me, I gotta put her back up, y'all, because I, I can't be playing like this with you. Mm -mm. She got to go back up, niece. But let's just listen. It's 667 of y'all in here. Y'all, welcome to the kingdom. And y'all remember to throw the thumbs up for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. To all my new kingdomonians, welcome to the kingdom. Thank you for subscribing. Last year, my goal was to get both of my baby daddies off of child support. It is officially official. I Wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, she. Ah! Jada said. <laughs> Jada said. Last year, one of my goals was. To <laughs> baby, let for at home. Was to get both of my baby daddies off child niece now niece i know damn well your ass ain't got your last baby daddy on child support he had them kids more than your ass why is he on, why he on, why is he the parent that's on child support <laughs> jada girl baby sweet life said uh he old enough to have a 401 <laughs> You know, but you know what, sweet life? It may be arrears. Or you know what? Um, maybe he owes arrears. Like, so even if after the kid turns 18, uh, you like no longer have to pay. Like, if you owe arrears, that's gonna pile up. Like the baby, the, the kid could be the graduated uh high school, college, 30 years old, getting ready to walk down the aisle with, with their wife or their husband. If you owe, then you just you like. You owe those arrears. You got to pay. So that's probably what he is. That's probably what's going on. But hell, I guess he hadn't been paying, right? Sure. Hold on. What somebody said? Baby, Arcy Chan said, I still get payback of my own. So see, see, exactly. That's what I was saying. Um, girl. But is she giving him the money? And how often does she get the money? Let's let's just listen. How often is she getting the child support? meeting with um, Ethan Ashton's dad back in, I think, like, September, October, somewhere around there, and now I just had the Zoom meeting with Byron's dad. Why, or, why did you just not take Ethan and Ashton's dad off of, off of uh, child support? Why are the, why is their um, dad just, why was he even on child support? And even if he was, I you know, I get it. Um, you know, you probably had to put him on child support for whatever reason. I don't know if she disclosed the reason why that's her business, if she, if she ain't said it whatever fine uh but why was he still on child support or why did you just take him off last year 
he be having them kids often, like often, often doing things with the kids. He's very much so an active father in their life. So what was the child support needed for? Huh. And I just, done. One, one thing about it, if I, if, if I could help get black man off papers, out the system, off that. Uh, what do you mean if you can help a black man get off papers, get out the system? Bitch, you the one put him in the system. You the one put them on the papers. What the hell are you talking about? If you could help them help them get off, your ass the one put them on it. Stupid, McNoopit, you the reason why they was on papers. Now you want to come over here with this damn Usher. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you your papers, love letter song. What the hell are you talking about? You the reason why they was on the damn papers in the first place. You carried your ass down there and put them on it. And I think what um LC, I think um the first her first baby daddy is black. Uh I'm confused. So now you're trying to help him get off after you put him on. When did you put him on child support? How, how old was your oldest? Like four, two, three, four? He'd been on child support ever since then. He'd been on you never thought to take him off, even after you you reached your quote unquote, let you tell it your um millionaire status. You never took him off child support. You were still just getting the money. Was you giving it to your son? Was you giving him the money? And then you was also getting it for the last two kids from the other baby daddy. Was you giving them the money as well? Or was you just keeping it and pocketing and using it to take your ass over there to Chick-fil-A and uh, Salada and all those damn places over there? Uh, I'm confused. I'm so damn confused. BB said he must be paying $13 a month. That's G the damn Chick-fil-A. Gina, you, you, we're not impressed, niece. You the reason why they was over there on the damn papers in the first damn place, right? Huh. And you just never thought to take them off? And how much was they paying a month, Gina? If you, if you, if, if you want us to be impressed over here in the kingdom, tell us how much they was paying a month, and then we're going to meet in a congregation and talk about it, and then we'll let you know if we impressed or not. Sean? Shit, I'm, I'm going to do my part and help. Ethan National Dad is Hispanic, which I know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, that is completely done. But one thing about it, the government gonna get their money. They gonna get their money one way or another. And the thing is, like, buying is twenty five. Y'all already know, but like, oh, and it's tax time, baby. Uncle Sam probably, baby. Uncle Sam probably said, you're not getting your tax. I'm keeping that tax check. You're not, you're not getting no refund. No, nah, that's coming to me. Ethan National, I think when I first had the meeting, I told about a date. They're still like, it was like this little fee that they're making him pay, and we're just like, for what? And they're like, that's just our, our protocol. It's only twenty dollars a month. But still, we're like, it don't make sense. But they're making him do the same thing. But his is about to end, I think, in like three weeks. They were like, oh, you're only going to have to pay that for like three more weeks. And then that's it because he's 25. So he, they said he's considered emancipated. But, uh, uh, hold on. I'm confused as hell. What you mean a fee? His arrears because he hadn't been paying child support. So I I think that if you take them off child support and you say, okay, I don't want to, I don't want my baby daddy to pay child support no more whatsoever. But if they were already behind and they add on those late fees or whatever, those are like called arrears. Those you can't wipe away. Those the hell don't go away. So if the baby daddy, he could be off child support, but let's say he he works or whatever, you know, he's, you know. He has he's a he has a job, he's going to work every day, is a nine to five, maybe two. Like they're gonna take out whatever calculated amount of the arrears that they need until they get all that, that money paid up. Right. So even though you're not paying child support, you still have to pay those arrears. And Gina, uh, y'all, what does a, y'all, I kind of gloss over that, but Gina said he's emancipated, right? 20, $20 a month, but he, but he has three weeks left to pay it. I don't understand. Gina, they say, ain't the baby daddy rich. Gina, you said your oldest son is emancipated? Huh. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Gina, are you okay? Gina, are you okay? Her, she said her oldest son. You know, he's... The oldest son is well off in his 20s, niece. But she said he's emancipated. Don't, don't start me to lie. That's what Gina said. <laughs> That's what Gina said. Gina, niece, niece. Dude, Gina, y'all know how Gina thinks. She don't. Gina, where's the caregiver? Gina's sugar probably low over there and all of that. So let's just let's just let Gina talk. Uh, you, child, they're going to get their money. They gonna get their money. Uh, the government gonna get their money from your ass too. Have you you over there prepared to file your taxes? Is you over there doing what you need to do? Because the government gonna get your money too. Sean, sure. 
And it's so crazy. It's like they try to talk you into not taking them off. They're like, before they let him on the Zoom, they're like, you sure, um, you sure, Miss Gina? You sure you want to? Why would they call you Miss Gina? That's so inappropriate. Wouldn't they call you Miss So and So, whatever your last name is? <laughs> yeah, the sugar love. When they call you Miss So and So, why the hell they call you Miss Gina? You not they uh what the hell? Gina. Oh, God. Uh, let me read Justin's comment. Justin said, if that's the case, then he did that a long time ago and she would not have been getting back pay unless old boy never paid and had to pay back pay before he was emancipated. Uh, Gina's using the word emancipated um, incorrectly, uh, Justin. We know Gina's not. The mall is open, but nobody nobody's shopping. The elevator don't go all the way to the top floor with Gina over there. Um, Gina, go Google what emancipated oh lord i feel so i feel so bad for gina that's horrible to be that dumb gina that is horrible to be that stupid sure. take him off he owes blah, blah 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 you sure you don't want that and i'm just like i'm i'm sure like i'm fine like i got a great relationship with both of them like they we like this so uh gina says she got a good relationship with both of her baby daddies uh she said they locked in she hit them up and she'd be like she call them and she say uh twin where have you been nobody knows me like you nobody body to body at a, one look in my eye you know i'm lying gina said them her twins they locked in huh i mean i don't know that okay gina if that's what you want us to think okay <laughs> thank you leona i appreciate that good Thank you so much. Uh, Gina said I'm locked in with twin. Where y'all been? Okay, Gina. Okay. Sure. I do something to help. If help, I will. Anyway, I ain't been doing shit today. It's Thursday. I've just been editing. I'm about to make me something to eat. I'm really not even hungry, to be honest with y'all. I got leftover from last night. Uh, G oh Lord, I'm not y'all gonna have to go over there and look if y'all want to see girl Gina. I'm not putting you up on camera like that because that is a horrible angle. Gina says she was hungry, then she um proceeds to eat damn Cheez Its. Um, huh. Let's see what else we missed in the damn Gina vlog. I think I could put it back up now, baby. Gina is a mess. You got closer to mama's teeth. Anyway, uh, let's see. So I got the boxers and then just a tank top. The boxers were 34, marked down to 18, and the top was 36, marked down to 18. So uh, Gina been over here uh, spending some more of her good hard earned coin with Kim at Skims. Gina wants us to know that. Gina done purchased some more Skims. Gina, was this a sponsorship or you just spent your money? Okay. This is a 2X. It, it stretches a lot. Oh my oh. God. You got a 2X and then you still needed to stretch a lot? A 2X? Right, so this is the other bando. Another brown. This color is called Oxide. $14. Uh, didn't Gina just purchase some Skims um, two-piece sets or whatever a couple of months back? And she did a try on haul with her. I believe we reacted to it on live. Um, and it was like a bandeau top with the skirt, with the pencil skirt, right? Um, so what is this she over here got on here now? I mean, she got some more bandos, right? Oh, Lord. Gina not going to wear none of this shit. Gina gonna wind up putting on another them damn trend mall uh circus tent pants and a damn uh, uh Didi's bando. It's never gonna give none of this. We already know. Nice. So I got the hoodie. It was seventy eight. Marked down to thirty eight. Pretty good. Hey y'all. <laughs> we in the pool. I'm headed to pick Ashton up for practice. This was her very first practice of the season. I don't like the way y'all are positioned. Sometimes. I don't be getting on them enough in the morning to be on time, be on time, be on time. And we can leave the house running around a lot today. It feels like I've been running around a lot today, but I know I actually haven't. Getting up an hour earlier today because Egan had AM detention. I had to get on his butt because I'm like, why do you have detention period? Oh, because I'm always, always tardy to class. I'm thinking it's his first period class because sometimes that'd be my fault. Sometimes I don't. Be uh, Yeah, sometimes I'm late getting these kids to school because I'd be up on the phone with Wolf all night. Wolf works the third shift at Quick Trip. And uh, he wants me to be on the phone with him so he has somebody to talk to. So I'll be on the phone with Wolf until uh, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So, um, yeah, I'm tired. I can't even get up and do my motherly duties because I'm over here having to do uh, 
not girlfriend duties, but I don't know, a side do I don't know, whatever duties over here with damn wolf that I got going on over here. Social media relationship duties, right? So I'm late doing my motherly duties, like waking up my kids uh, on time, getting them to school on time. I'm late doing my duties that actually matter, right? So then my son is late to school. Um, okay. Be getting on them enough in the morning to be on time, be on time, be on time, and we can leave the house. But it's, it, I figured it was my fault. She said, oh, He said, No, my second period class. Why are you late to your second period class? Because he's in his first period class. When you drop him off at school, he's in his first period class. Sleep. He's tired. He's still tired. Because he was late waking him up, so he was getting more rest. So he's tired. So he's using first period to sleep, and so that he's waking up late from first period, so he's late to second period. Strong. He says because it's across campus. Uh uh. Other kids get there on time, baby. You can get there on time. I'm like, no. We are gonna let this slide this one time. But you need to get to class on time. Like, no. So anyway, I had to wake up super early, take him to AM detention. Ashton fell into the mess and had to wake up early too and go to school early too because I'm not making two trips clearly. And then after school, I had to pick up Ashton. Bring her back home to get ready for basketball. Why does it seem like this lady is so bothered that she's having to do uh that, that she's having to be do all of this? Why does it seem like it, it doesn't just seem like she's having casual casual conversation telling us what she gotta do, right? You know, some some uh vloggers they're like, Yeah, yeah, I'm on the way to pick up the kids. Uh yeah, I had to pick up um uh, baby, I had to pick up eggs, and then uh, I told uh, Z, you have to come too. So now I'm on my way back to pick them up. Yep, mom life, and then we're going to grab something. Nothing. It seems like she's just annoyed. She ready to get her ass back home, right? I practice. So, so she could log on to them Fashion Nova and Skims and order some more clothes and curl up in her bed and stalk Kyra on Instagram and damn YouTube, right? Sean. She went to basketball practice, then I would later pick up Ethan from track practice. Took him home. Now I'm going to pick Ashton up from basketball practice, baby. It seemed like a lot, but the silver lining is that we eat leftovers. And I'm gonna tell y'all this almost in every vlog. It's something about on um, busy days eating leftovers, and all I gotta do is heat it up. And put Gina, we know you lazy, niece. We know them kids. Is, oh, we know they eat leftovers. Like how many times a, during the week do you even cook? Hell, sometimes you up cooking at midnight and one of the kids got to be like, girl, I'm not staying up all night. I'm going to damn door dash me some Chick-fil-A. I'm going to door dash me some Razor Canes because I got to go to school in the morning. Somebody got to be the damn responsible one in this household, right? Uh, sometimes you up cooking it at, at midnight. So you cooking late at night. The kids ain't getting a nutritional meal at night. Then you up on the phone to the wee hours in the morning on the phone with damn wolf. So then you late waking the kids. So you late cooking dinner and you late getting the kids to school. You just a late ass bitch at this point. That's what I think. Sure. Put it on y'all's plate and I get to chill. That's like the best thing ever. Um, Y'all, did we miss anything else in this vlog? Because I didn't even watch the damn end of it. Um, Girl, let's tell damn Gina Bob. Gina to work my nerves. We'd have been on live almost damn uh two hours. And girl, I cut Gina damn vlog off. Um uh Gina just late. Every day the fashions is late over there. That 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 wig, that lace on that wig is late over there. We late with dinner, late getting the kids. Everything just damn late over there. You hear me? It's all giving late. I'm gonna run the commercials for y'all. It's 670 of y'all in here. Y'all, please like the live for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let me find the handy dandy commercials. And I'm going to go ahead and run those for y'all. And for those of y'all just now coming in, feel free to slide the bar back, replay gang. I greatly appreciate it. You at least got to pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> Here, now grab a pose. Grab a pose. Yeah. Now pull your leg up to the next step. Backpack, 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 backpack. Ankle swole, I'm out of control. I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, 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 backpack. Knee is swole and my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. Gina, put 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 this foot first. Yeah. Gina, first. Put 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 this foot first. Yeah. And all the people who come to my comments to say, this is so negative. All you do is comment and critique. It's a commentary channel, you dummy. Like, how are you dumb? All you do is, is commentary and talk about other channels. You ding, 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 ding. You got it. You got it. 
Y'all, tonight we talked about Chelsea. Uh, we got off into, we talked about Platinum D. Um, we went over Chelsea's vision board. We just kind of touched base on it for a little bit. Um, what else did we talk about? Then we wrapped it up with Gina Janine. I feel like we talked about something else, right? I can't remember. Um, but y'all, that is my time for the night. It's 622 of y'all in here. I greatly, greatly appreciate y'all coming, hanging out with me on this lovely Thursday night, y'all. We chatted up. We had a really good conversation, and I appreciate y'all so, so, so much. If y'all could please remember to like the live on the way out. Mimi will greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. To all my new Kingdomonians, Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope you love it here. And to all my returning subs, y'all, thanks for the love. A replay gang. I can't even talk, y'all. Replay, replay gang. Run it up. Do your thing, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all like it, love it, sub it. Use your magnes. Drop down in a comment. So I'm going to chop it up with y'all on the next one. Good night.